The purpose of this screencast is to, s to show you how you can have the same version for multiple assemblies on the same project. Let's see with an example. You have a very big project that is a DOS application that has as a reference a math library and an encryption library. You can have many more like a data access layer or business library or other things. Here is the assembly info. Assembly info is a simple project that simple file, sorry, that have an assembly version for the DLL. When you deploy the very big project DOS with the very big project DOS, you have the other DLL deployed and if you have multiple versions deployed to multiple clients, you can see the file version and the product version for this DLL. The problem is to maintain this at notation in sync. If you modify here in, let's see, revision 10, you want to modify and the math library to the revision. Here. My TTT file is a simple file that generates assembly file version info and it's simple to add to any project. Let's see how. I right click, I see add existing item, I said assembly info dot dt, I said add. I have here the assembly info. I go to assembly info to copy the relevant details. I have a relevant detail here, the following word guide and put in the assembly info. The same with the copyright here. I see under not, or I can refer a text file the copyright, but this is the homework we'll see later. And I delete the assembly info and put the assembly info tt into the properties. It generates an assembly info that is the same with the present assembly info, it's just have the assembly file, assembly version, assembly informational version put in the current date time. So I have here dt dot date time now and the assembly informational version is here. The same I made in the math library. I add an existing item files, the assembly info tt, I add this, I copy the grid, if you are com, I put in the assembly info tt, and I see three points, I can uncomment here if I want to see you exposed to com, I put here copyright, Andre Ignat, you see here the current year. I delete the assembly info, the original assembly info. I put the assembly info TT here. I save. If I go tools, sorry, project, transfer all T4 templates. So when I go to build, I transfer the assembly info TT for the both projects. They are succeeding. And I build the solution. So now, if I look to the project, I see the math library that have as properties, details, product name, and product version here that it's today date and the encryption library details I have the same date here with this all 
is done, you can download the product from the GitHub and let's see the project. This is the math library, the encryption library and my URL. Thank you for your attention.